Marinos, it's Kali with Kali's.com and I am excited to make with you a really fun and simple centerpiece using a charger plate. Uh, we picked this plate up at our local Hobby Lobby, but you can get these from any store. Um, and this one's plastic and I'm going to show you how to make the easiest a centerpiece ever. So we're going to start off with a uh, bow. That's our first step to this design. And uh, we're going to be using some eucalyptus, some sunflowers, some leaves from the sunflowers, and two ribbons. So I'm going to scoot these back just a little bit. We're going to tie our bow first. Um, this bow we're going to do today for this design is basically a 2-1 recipe. Um, and we don't want to have the tails too long because this is a charger plate. It's not gigantic. So I'm going to cut this at an angle. And the tails, when I say that, guys, I'm referring to the tail of the ribbon. You know what? Let's go ahead and dovetail it. Takes just a second longer. So fold it and cut from the fold down to the tips, and you'll get a double tail like that, and that's called a dovetail. I'm going to go about six and a half inches, put it in the center, and twist. We'll have that tail go up. And our loops, we're going to go small, so five and a half, twist. Five and a half on this side. If you do not have an easy bow maker, guys, just let me know. We'll have an affiliate link. Be happy to provide you with that so you can grab one. Uh, so you'll have one for yourself to use. Five and a half on this other side and scrunch it down and you'll have a tail going up and a tail going down. Okay, and I'm going to cut that straight and then dovetail it the same way. Just fold it and cut from the fold down to the tips. Yes, super cute. Step one is good. Now, if you guys are not in our design school yet, you can get on our text list and we'll text you anytime we're going live and uh, let you know when we have new videos, new blog posts and all that. So you can go to textcali.com or you can text us the word live to uh, 832-734-5201. If you do want to get on the wait list for design school, you can also just text us the word link. We'll send you a link for that also. We just try to keep it easy. Live for live alerts, link for the wait list. Okay, look how fun that is. Now, all I've done is I've done two loops, two tails. Okay, this is a funky bow we're making. Now I'm gonna come back with that cute little sunflower ribbon and we'll put that on next. Uh, sit there, sunflowers. And I just wanna do this with, uh, we're just going to have one loop of this on either side. So that tail's going up. I want it to be just a little shorter. Come to the center and twist. And we were at five and a half, so we're just going to go five inches right here. Five inches and twist. Five inches on this other side. And scrunch it so you have a tail up, a tail going down. You're going to trim these and cut them, still dovetailing. And we're going to do the same thing. i got to cut down, guys. All right, and now I'm going to put one on the other side. Crisscross it, same length. So you have two tails up and two tails down. All right. So tails are up and tails are down. Now what I want to do is come in and grab this with a cable tie right in the center. And we're going to put a floral pin in the back so we can push this into our floral foam on our arrangement. So. The trickiest part is making the bow and the rest of this is going to come together quickly. I'm going to put a little pressure on top and just bring that to the center. Now you need to fluff this bow the way you want it. So those tails got to go up and down. And I can scoot this dude out of our way. Okay. Tails up and down and rotate the loops. So the fluffing part of the bow making process is super important because that way you get everybody where you want them. So we got our cute uh, sunflower on top of our black and white check, which just goes so good with our charger plate. Now this is my uh, floral pin, and that's how I'm going to pin it into my foam. And you're going to understand that in just a second. Oh, don't put it through your ribbon. Though. Okay, I'm going to rotate that around and get that tight. Trim that off. Now we're going to go through the center with a little piece of the sunflower ribbon. So I just take a little strip of the ribbon. Take and fold it, fold it, and run it right through the center. And I'm going to take that around and this down. And we'll do a little knot in there. And then the hardest part of the design is done. It is the bow. You got to bring that little pin up because that's how we're going to pin it in. Okay. Whoop, don't cut it. Don't cut it twice. 
All right, Bo is ready. Now bring that charger plate back over. Let me bring my glue pot over here so we don't have to go far with it. My baby glue pot here ready to rock and roll with y'all. Now, uh, we're going to make this design over to the side, and I'm keeping it a surprise why till the very end. I want you to be surprised. Now, you're going to need a little bit of Gorilla Glue, which I just put back up here. Here it is. Uh, I find Gorilla Glue helps on slick surfaces like this, so I'm going to put that below the hot glue. So we're going to pop in. This is a plastic plate. The hot glue should work, but I like a little Gorilla Glue also. So I just put a little on the left side. Now... Dip your little piece of foam into the glue pot, scrape it off so you don't have too much, and now just press that right down. So it's off to the side, okay? And this side is open and ready to rock and roll. Okay, and before we do anything, let's get some of these leaves put in. And um, you can push these right into the foam, or you can even take here where some of that hot glue just got squished out and push it in there too. I'm gonna grab a couple of those floral pins, my little bucket of floral pens. And we're going to push a few of these in just to hold these. And these are going to kind of go at the base so you get the pretty green going off to the sides. And I'm just going to grab a little of the actual leaf here and pin it in. There it goes. Oh, that one didn't grab enough glue. So let me pin this one too. So I'm just taking a pin, putting a little glue on it over here at the glue pot, and then I'm just pushing it into the edge. Okay, so we got three pieces in position here. Let's have a couple on the other side, how many more leaves do I have? I have two. I can steal this one off here. Now, these are all pieces left from a project we did in design school recently, and I have a few pieces left, and so this is just a quick and easy way to use them. Okay, so I put a little glue, I push that in, and I'm gonna put the bigger ones at the bottom, and I'm just kind of overlapping, and it gives us a nice pretty green on the bottom to kind of break up all the check, because we have check in our ribbon too. All right, let's put this one over here. And I'm leaving that hole open for a special treat. I can't wait to show you. All right, before you get too excited, our foam's on, glued on, our leaves are on. Okay, next step, get that bow in. So grab the bow we just made, and we're gonna put a little glue on it. Now, I want the bow to open up to this section right here. Oh, cute already. We haven't done hardly anything. Put a little glue on those pins before you push them in. Oh my God, how cute. Now really fluff this dude up in there, leaving the side open and get those tails looking good. Now, if you need to come back and then trim any of the tails, like if one's a little longer or anything like that, you can definitely do that. Now it's time to go to town with our sunflowers. And that means I'm gonna take the largest one here and I'm gonna trim where that leaf was. We're gonna take that off, and I'm just gonna bend him a little bit and let this guy go kind of in here towards the front. Let it pop up a little. Cute as that, just coming right out of the bow. <gasps> Super cute. Let me bring it down a little bit. Now let's put this one behind in the back, right here on the other side. So a couple of sunflowers just coming out of the bow, reaching out, saying hi. Here's the cute little bud, and I think I'm gonna use the bud more right over here to the other side look at that how cute is that watch your ribbon when you get down here because if you hit it it's not going to go in let me bring that tail around so i've got a bud a main stem look at cute cute easy now eucalyptus is always super popular always trending uh for the last several several years and this is the bigger leaf eucalyptus, silver dollar eucalyptus. It's got a pretty little bud on it. And I'm going to take and cut these down to where they're little shorter pieces. And we're just going to start tucking this in around the bow. I'll use a couple little long ones to kind of come out from the base. So I'll just come underneath and tuck this in. So we're going to try to cover up our foam the best we can. Oh yeah, that looks pretty with that one. How about a longer one the other way? And then we're gonna all these little pieces in and around. This one over here. Oh, I got wild, I knocked my sign. You know, I get excited, get wild. Now let's come in more towards the top of the bow. Yes. And I just thought these are precious for little luncheons, simple things. You know, there's gonna be teacher appreciation coming up. And you want to decorate all the tables, but you have a, like a tighter budget. 
we're talking three flowers. So with one of these flower bushes, I could make three arrangements. Uh, I could make several arrangements with um, one of these greenery bushes because I'm not using, but three pieces. And you can see I'm just filling all that in. Really, really easy. And I'm making this to uh, sit on a table. So I'm gonna just make sure it looks really good from the top. How cute. I'm gonna put one more over here. All right, best of all is I wanna show you the surprise at the end. I'm gonna show you what's so cute. Look at this one here. So I'm just wiggling around all the different directions. So I'm pushing it in without hitting the, there's some leaves under there where we put the sunflower leaves. Now make sure that bow is popping out, but you still have this side of the charger open. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, surprise, surprise, because you know what's super cute? Is take a little battery operated candle and just run that right up beside your arrangement. And boom, it's so cute. Super simple arrangement for summertime, picnics, teacher appreciation, all that. All that done on a really inexpensive charger. I can't wait to see yours. Make sure you follow me, like, subscribe, and come back for more fun projects like this. I know you could do it with Marinos. I'll see you next time. Go have fun with flowers.